Midnight Stories for Rebel Girls. Hi there, Rebels. This is Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls, the interview. I'm Taya Diggs. Right now, I'm talking to Lindsay Murphy. She narrated our story about Alice Ball. Go check it out if you haven't already. Hi, Lindsay. Thanks for joining us. Can you introduce yourself? Well, hi there. My name is Lindsay Murphy, a.k.a. Crazy Aunt Lindsay, and I'm the creator and host of a kid science show called The Fab Lab with Crazy Aunt Lindsay that uh, I've been doing since 2010, where I take everyday science concepts and turn them into fabulous DIY projects that kids can do at home with their families. That sounds super fun. So what made you fall in love with science? Is it something you loved as a kid? As a young girl, I mean, when I was eight years old, I fell in love with what I'll call kitchen chemistry, you know, making beautiful, delicious meals that you could share with your friends. Cooking is so incredibly scientific on so many different levels. So I think the first thing I ever fell in love with was cooking. So what excites you about science today? And why should kids, especially girls, be interested in science? I think the thing that's most exciting is that all the things that were predicted 10, 20 years ago are happening now. And you can't ignore the realities of the cause and effect of human behavior. But now so many more of us are not only more interested, but so much more equipped to remedy and right these huge environmental issues that we're experiencing the realities of right now. And so it's just exciting to have so many more people that don't need to be convinced that are just ready to activate into it. And that's my favorite part about being in STEM right now. But also it's like, did we have to wait to get down to the wire? (laughs) So do you think that girls in science can be part of that solution? Part of saving the world? Oh, absolutely. That's that's exactly who is going to save the world. It's always it's always going to be the girls. I hope you're right. So like Alice Ball, you are a black woman in STEM fields that have been dominated by white men. Can you talk about the importance of representation in STEM fields? I mean, the old cliche is, if you can see it, you can be it. And I think that proves true over and over again. I think that really knowing the truth of the rainbow that everything is made up of is important to the salvation of the world. (laughs) It It just is. Crazy Aunt Lindsay, how do you go about designing an experiment? If we want to test something, what are the steps? The scientific method says you start with a question, then you research it a little bit enough to come up with a hypothesis. And then you design an experiment against that hypothesis. And then you observe what happens during that experiment. And once you observe what happens in that experiment, you either find other people's experiments and you synthesize the data, you analyze the data, and then you make a report. And if you're really awesome, you'll do a thing called science communications, where you will share what you find in your report, which is the real final step in the scientific method, communicating what you find in your science, because I believe that not only is science fabulous, but it is a public service. So true. If you could go back to when you were a kid and give yourself a piece of advice, what would it be? Keep cooking, keep asking questions, and asking for forgiveness over permission is always the better way to go. (laughs) That's how you know I'm a rebel. (laughs) You are a rebel. What else makes you a rebel, girl? Yeah, in addition to going the route of asking for forgiveness versus permission, uh, you know, I just... I believe that science is fabulous and I see its potential in everything for everyone. And I think the way that I've seen science and seen the world has been a little bit different than many others may have. And so just being rambunctious and and insistent on sharing that vision is, I think, what makes me a rebel girl. Thank you, Lindsay. And thank you for listening. If you like the show, leave a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen and share it with all of your friends. Catch you next time. Stay rebel.
Rebel.